And I'll take Preston's horse over to him. Oh, all right, Luke. Hurry back as soon as you can, will you? Sure, I'll hurry back. That's just fine, son. How is he, Doc? It's a bad burn, Wellington. And I'm afraid he carries that scar for the rest of his life. I don't think there's any use of a bandage, but you must watch out for infection. Yeah. I'll have to get someone to kind of help me care for him. His mother, you know, is dead. I'm sure you can find some of you. I sure appreciate all, all that you've done for me, Doc. Oh, that's all right, Wellington. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Now then, you young rascal. Come here to Daddy. Oh. Right. Now, I, I want to take a look at this myself, you know. <laughs> you know, your Daddy wants to take a peek at this, too. Ooh, well. It's all better now, Daddy. Yes, I see it is much better. Ooh, don't hurt me more, does it? No. Now then, how'd you like to go and climb aboard that nice little pony that's all your own, eh? All right. Go along. girl, Doc. Can't understand, sir, George letting her go this way. Poor girl. So that's the man she just married, eh? Ever seen him around? No. He looks like a Western man to me. And I understand Sir George won't even meet him. No, he told his daughter to get out of the house. Sir George, you can't drive your daughter away like this. Dr. Strong, my daughter has made her choice. She will have to suffer the consequences. Good day, sir. Say, I understand she had to marry the man. That's right. And what's more, stop your filthy tongues. All right. Take those words back or I'll... We ain't said anything, something what we heard. Lies. A pack of lies.
He's... He's dead. 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 My boy, dead. Is there a chance, Doctor? There may be if we hurry. Where can we take him? To my house. Find him round back. How's the gun? I think it's all right. All right. <laughs> From where you've been shooting, I'd say it's perfect. <laughs> well, uh, by the way, uh, how is Sir George lately? Much better, thank you. You owe him a lot, Johnny. He certainly has brought you up in fine style. But I can't understand why you want to spend all your time in that blacksmith shop. Maybe it's because I'm a bit sentimental about Dad's place. However, I'm deeply grateful to Sir George. Sir George, you can't do that. Wyndham, you're my lawyer. I want you to draw my will as I dictate. But, Sir George, you don't quite realize what you're doing. Leaving everything to this Wellington boy is preposterous. Not only is he the son of a murderer, but... Stop it, Wyndham. Remember, since that day, believing his son dead, he has become a fugitive, an outlaw, but only because society made him so. As far as the boy is concerned, his father is dead. Then, let me point out a technology of the law. You want to leave your fortune to Johnny. What about your granddaughter? Suppose she should turn up. What then? She could, and would, no doubt, contest the will. After all, she's your own flesh and blood. You can't really ignore that, you know. Wyndham, 18 years ago, my daughter walked out of my life. Her child is no concern of mine. This boy has taken their place. Your stubbornness is deplorable, Sir George. Good day. What you doing here?
Your daughter was beautiful, wasn't she? Honestly, Sir George, wouldn't you like to have her here? Perhaps I would, Johnny. But that can never be. She passed away when her child was born. But wouldn't it be nice to have your grandchild take her place? Johnny, where did you... I couldn't help but overhear your conversation with Wyndham. What did you hear? Did you... Did you hear us discussing your father? Why, no, I didn't. I, I was just coming in as Wyndham was pointing out your obligation to your grandchild. Honestly, Governor, wouldn't you like to see her... Yes, Johnny. I've longed for my own. She does belong here. Then I'm going to bring her here to you. I'm afraid it's too late. Since my daughter passed away, I've never even heard from her husband. Gentry was his name. Had a ranch somewhere in New Mexico. A wild, unsettled place, I hear. I even had investigators tracing them. Never found their whereabouts. Perhaps the man has changed his name. Maybe they're dead. Who knows? Sir George, if they're alive, I'll find them. Hello there, old timer. Well, uh, kind of surprised me. Didn't expect to see anybody around here. Are you acquainted with this country? Why, know it like a book. I reckon I've traveled about every trail in New Mexico. Do you know anybody out here by the name of Gentry? Gentry? No, I don't believe I do. But I'll tell you what, there's a fellow up here in the back country, a man by the name of Rand. If anybody knows him, it'd be him. Uh, well, uh, where will I find him? Well, I ain't never been up there personally myself. Because they call it a one-man trail. See, Rand don't allow anybody's own men to roam that range. Oh, I see. It's up towards Devil Basin. But if you get up in there, I'd advise you to be downright careful. Because there ain't no man ever been known to come back. Well, thanks, old timer. <laughs> Say, if you don't mind, I'll ride along with you. That is, as far as uh, Sandy Flats. Fine. Will you have a cup of coffee before you go? Sure. It's all ready. Why are you so gloomy, Dad? I'm worrying about you, Gail. You mean Trent? That and things, I reckon. Don't worry about me, Dad. Everything will be all right. How are you old, huh? I'll try and get him. What do you want, Trent? Howdy, Miss Gale. 
You'd better get out of here, Trent. Oh, come now, Gail. Why can't you be sensible? After all, you've never given me... I don't care to listen to anything you have to say, Trent. Get out of here. Keep your hands off me. I'm telling you once and for all. Trent! Don't let me ever catch you around here again, Trent. Get going. Now then, listen, with this, I aim to write. I just... You just keep going. All right. Whatever you say. I reckon this wild country ain't no place for you, Gail. But I don't know how I'm ever going to get you out of here. Everything will be all right, Dad. All right. Hi, right, Tell Dodson and his men to get that herd out and start out with them. That old buzzard and his gal, they can't act that way with me. Yeah. What about Rand? Look here. I'm about fed up with him, too. The split we'll get from this herd, we won't need Rand anymore. Get me? Sure. All right, then, get going. I'll stay here and take care of Winters if he comes out. Get away with this. But please, Dad, think of me. What if something should happen to you? I wonder if Rand and his gang of outlaws are at the bottom of this. I'm going to find out. What do you intend to do? I aim to have a showdown with Rand. Oh, but Dad... This can't go on. I'm riding over in the morning. Then I'm going with you. All right. Howdy, Dobson. Uh, you got the money? Yes. And I'll take another bunch at the same price whenever you want to bring them. Right, Dobson. And it might be right soon, too. Slim. What's the matter, Slim? Rand's coming for you. Winters and the gal was over and told him about you being after her. And about some cattle rustling, too. Yeah? I'll be getting back before Rand finds out I've warned you. What'll we do? Well, let him come. There's two of us, ain't there? That's what is the girl. Come on. What are you gonna do? I'm going to see that Winters don't get another chance to talk to Rand. Dad! Dad!
Winter. Winter! Are you hurt, Miss? What happened? <laughs> Those two men. <laughs> they killed my father. What are you doing with that girl? Ran. What happened, Gail? Trent. Trent and Tampus. They killed father. Trent? Tampus? Yes. And if it hadn't been for this man, they'd have taken me with them. Gail, I admit I've got a tough bunch of men around me. But I want you to believe that I ain't no way responsible for what Trent and Campus have done. Why, why, my men have always had orders to keep their hands off you and your dad. Why, we've been neighbors for a long time. I almost feel like you was my own little girl. Now, I want you to go to my ranch, wait there until I come back. But you? I'm going to see that Trent and Campus never bother you again. Uh, will you two men please go with her? Oh, please, please, Rand. Now, don't worry about me. Oh, don't, don't let him go alone. He may never come back. If they reach Whiskey Flats before he does, the Dobson gang's liable to make it downright uncomfortable for Rand. Rand? Yeah. Did you call him Rand? I'll do all I can, Miss. Pete, you take care of her. Maybe it ran. Yeah. 
Ambush! Let's get out of here. <laughs> Kinda handy with a gun each. A bit. <clears throat> Pull me out of a tough spot tonight. Why? The girl was kind of worried about you. And I thought maybe you might mean something to her. You're right. Oh, by the way, do you know anybody out here by the name of Gentry? Son? Out in this section of the country, folks don't ask questions. What's your interest in the Gentry folks? I thought you said people out in these parts didn't ask questions. <laughs> kind of quick in the head, too, ain't you? You know, boy, I... I, I have to you. Now, if you're not heading for any place in particular, uh, I could use a, a gunman. How about uh, staying on my ranch a while? How long has that girl lived out here? All her life. Well, maybe I'll consider your offer. Go. Come on, let's get going. Split up Tampers and Trent's belongings among yourselves. Oh, I'm so glad he's safe. Did you have any trouble? Well, not much. Son, take the horses over to the corral. They've had a long run. Gail, I haven't very much to offer you. But I, I wish you'd kind of figure on staying here with me. At least you'll be safe, and you wouldn't be so lonesome. Rand, I do appreciate your kindness. And I'm sure I'll be safe here. Oh, all right. I'll have one of the boys drive you over in the buckboard, and you can bring back your things. I'll get the buckboard, Rand, and drive Miss Gale over. Who is he, Rand? What's his name? Gail, I ain't much on asking questions of my men. And out here, names don't mean anything. We'll find out who he is.
Gail, do you mind leaving us alone? Why, no. I want to talk to you. I've been watching you and Gail. Why, well, yes, I intended to speak to you about it. Well, won't be any need of that. That girl ain't for you or any other man around here. Why should you object, Rand? Well, I have appointed myself her guardian. That girl ain't gonna waste herself on any drifter. Besides, she's, she's leaving here shortly. I'm going to sell my cattle today to get money to send her back east. Some good school where she'll have a chance to meet some worthwhile man. Very kind of you, Rand. But what about Gail and me? What if we care about each other? You heard my order. All right, man, here's out. Now then, listen. If you men are willing to stick with me, we can wipe out, Rand. And everything is ours. That goes for me. Yeah, that goes for me, too. All right, then. We'll wait until Dobson and his gang join up with us. Then we'll strike. What about that hombre? Put that crease in your head. That's the one thing I'll take care of myself. Tell you, I'm not taking orders from Rand. But you're not like the rest of these men. Didn't you explain to him? He didn't give me a chance to. Gail, you do care for me, don't you? Of course I do. And that's all that matters. I'm going to have a showdown with Rand just as soon as he gets back. Now, don't get yourself excited. After all, Rand's intentions are good. I feel he'll change his mind after we talk with him. You said you came here to look for a girl, somebody's grandchild. What about her? I'll tell you the truth, Gail. Since I met you, I'd almost forgotten my mission. Guess I... What picture is this? Well, that's a picture of my mother. Your mother? Why, yes. Sir George's grandchild. Speak of Virginia, about your mother's father's... No. No, father was always evasive about mother's family. In fact, never referred to it. There's a picture of my grandfather in here somewhere. Here, is that it? Is that Sir George? Why, yes, that is Sir George. You're the girl I've been looking for. Your father must have assumed the name of Gentry. Oh, how thrilling. I wonder what's delaying Rand. He probably had to wait for the cattle so he could get his money. I wish he'd hurry. So do I. I think I'll ride up on the ridge and see if I can find him. Well, hurry back. Where do you suppose he's going? I don't know. Why can't we have the gal as well as anybody else? 
That's right. The newcomers to grab her anyway. Being Rand's gone, what's going to stop us? Well, I reckon now as good a time as any. You dirty coyotes, get back to the corral, or I'll... The Winters girl. Yeah, and it was the umbrella that crushed you. It's Trent. The boy didn't finish him. This means a fight, men. It's Rand. Now's our chance, fellas. Come on, let's take him.
are getting wiped out. Trent's come for the girl. You men hold them off as long as you can. I'm riding to the ranch. Rand's getting out. We've got him whipped. Come on, let's follow that buckboard. What are you doing here? What happened? That newcomer took Gail away in the buckboard. When I tried to stop him, he got me. Carried Gail away, did he? Are you hurt bad, Joe? Oh, I'll be all right. You just rest easy. I'll be back. Oh. Him and the girl that just went into that cabin yonder. When he comes out, let him have it. Then you take the boys and go back and get Rand's herd. I'll look after the girl. Deep cut, Gail. I'll try and find some water. Just a minute. Close that door. You'd sneak off with Gail while I was away, eh? Wait until I explain what happened, Rand. There ain't nothing to explain. I gave an order. But, Rand, please listen. Keep out of this, Gail. It doesn't matter. You did my orders. You're forcing me into this, Rand. But you're making a big mistake.
son. I'm sorry it had to happen, Rand. If you'd only listened, it would have been easier on both of us. I wasn't running away with Gail. He's telling you the truth, Rand. You see, we've discovered that I'm Gail Gentry. You men spread out and see that they don't get away from the rear. So you see, Johnny isn't a drifter, as you thought he was. Yes, I... I see. And so... So you were brought up by Gail's grandfather. I'm mighty sorry for what I've done, Johnny. Just another mistake in my life. But you, you are going back to Virginia. And I wish you all the happiness this old world can give. Thanks. Johnny, that night at Whiskey Flats, you didn't quite finish, Trent. He's in this section now, looking for you. But when I go out that door, he will be the only thing between you and a clear road ahead. So be on the lookout for him. All right, Rand. Thanks. No, I... I wonder if you'd do me a favor, John. That hat of yours. I'd like to have it uh, just to remember you by. Why, sure, if you really want it. Thanks. Now, you? Goodbye, my boy. They're riding away. We were trapped. My hat. He knew we were trapped. Why, they mistook Rand for me. I'm giving you the chance and give Rand. Draw! Rand, you... you did this for me. We could have fought it out together. Trent had his gang. Odds too great. Much better this way. But, but why did you do it? I... I knew your father. You... You knew my father? Yes. When he lost you, he lost everything worthwhile in life. That's why John Wellington 
died. A long time ago. Go. Yeah. Well, tell me more about him. Rand. Rand. Gail. A little. Rand said we'd have a clear trail ahead. We'll make it. <laughs> 